In an era where the automotive world is undergoing a seismic shift, from gas to electric, from human-driven to autonomous, what if the next big innovation isn't just about what powers a car or who drives it, but how it's built from the ground up? Or rather, from the top down? Enter the concept of the upside-down self-powered car, an idea that turns conventional automotive engineering on its head, literally. With roots in bold innovation and a nod to one of the most intriguing inventors of our time, this DIY guide takes you through the eccentric yet revolutionary concept of building a vehicle that's both self-powered and aerodynamically inverted. Maxwell Chikambutso's Self-Powered Car A spark of possibility. Before diving into the nuts and bolts of building an upside-down car, it's essential to recognize the inspiration. Maxwell Chikambutso, a Zimbabwean inventor known for creating the world's first self-powered electric vehicle. Using a unique combination of green energy technologies, including magnetic converters and high-frequency inverters, Chikambutso's design defied mainstream science by creating motion from a system not connected to the grid or a typical battery source. His invention challenged the rules of physics as we know them, and although still controversial and largely unreplicated, it symbolizes a crucial point. Radical innovation is possible. This guide channels that same rebellious spirit, pushing DIY engineering into new dimensions. Why build an upside-down car? At first glance, it sounds like a stunt, something you'd see in a science fiction movie or a high-concept art piece. But there's more to the concept than visual novelty. Aerodynamic efficiency. The bottom of most modern vehicles is flat and more aerodynamically efficient than the top. By flipping the design, we can experiment with airflow dynamics in ways that reduce drag, increase stability, and possibly enhance energy efficiency, especially when combined with self-powering mechanisms. Engineering challenge meets innovation. Building a car upside down isn't just about curiosity. It's a radical rethinking of automotive design. The project forces you to consider balance, weight distribution, engine positioning, and even how to safely house passengers and components in a reversed format. It's an intellectual exercise, a maker's challenge, and a conversation starter all rolled into one. The future is now. As DIY inventors and futurists, we must push the boundary of what's possible. Self-powered and upside-down vehicles represent a shift in mindset, from following automotive norms to creating the next generation of transportation from scratch. Designing the upside-down chassis. The first and most crucial part of your build is the chassis, which forms the structural skeleton of your vehicle. Structural design and materials. A standard car chassis is designed for weight distribution that keeps the vehicle low and stable. Inverting the chassis requires reinforced top-loading beams, extra support for rollover protection, which now becomes normal orientation, and adjustments to the frame geometry. Materials to consider. Chromoly steel tubing. Lightweight, strong, and common in race cars. Aluminum alloy. Excellent for keeping the structure light without compromising too much strength. Carbon fiber panels. Ideal for non-load-bearing parts of the frame to reduce weight. Challenges and considerations. Center of gravity. With the mass now above what would traditionally be the base, balance becomes a major issue. Suspension mounts. These need to be redesigned to maintain wheel contact in the reversed orientation. Access and ergonomics. Doors, seats, and dashboard controls need to be fully re-engineered. Accommodating the engine and suspension. Standard cars mount the engine low to the ground for stability. In an upside-down vehicle, the engine sits higher, so you'll need custom mounts that cradle the engine securely and distribute weight evenly. The suspension must also be reoriented and modified to ensure that tires meet the ground at proper angles. Engine and powertrain setup. This is where Maxwell Chikambutso's innovation comes back into play. A self-powered engine setup. Choosing the right engine. Your options include. 
electric motors, preferred for simplicity, instant torque, and compatibility with custom energy systems. Hybrid systems offer more complexity but may provide extended range. Chikambutso inspired self-power generator. Experimental magnetic or inverter-based power systems, though difficult to reproduce, could be attempted by advanced builders. Modifying the engine for inverted use. Engines rely on gravity for oil flow, fuel delivery, and cooling. When flipped, oil systems must be redesigned. Consider a dry sump oiling system. Fuel injection systems may need repositioning or alternative routing. Cooling systems should use electric pumps and radiators repositioned for maximum airflow. Custom powertrain design. You'll likely need to build a transaxle or mid-engine layout with a chain or belt drive system that can deliver power to inverted wheels. Electric hub motors may simplify this process, eliminating the need for long drive shafts. Building the upside-down body. Here's where form meets function and flips it. Construction techniques. Forget standard molds and panels. You'll be shaping parts in reverse. Use fiberglass or composite panels to sculpt the roof, now your base. The bottom of the car, now the top, will house the cockpit, mirrors and lights. You'll need CNC cut brackets and laser aligned mounts for stability. Materials for durability and weight. Polycarbonate for windows and lightweight body panels. Recycled plastics and 3D printed components can add a modern sustainability angle. Aerodynamic design considerations. Reversing a car means flipping airflow patterns too. Use CFD, computational fluid dynamics, tools to add diffusers and spoilers to your new roof line. Create vortex generators to control lift and turbulence. Integrate active aero flaps for speed control and downforce. Testing and refinement. Initial testing. Before hitting the streets, begin with static stress tests on the chassis. Suspension testing for movement and responsiveness. Powertrain tests on a dynamometer or rig. Road testing. Take it slow, literally. Your first real-world test drive should be in an enclosed area like a track or parking lot. Include sudden stops, cornering and hill climbs. Be observed with high-speed cameras and diagnostic tools. Refining the design. After the first tests, revisit. Weight distribution to eliminate pull or drift. Suspension stiffness to better handle inverted gravity forces. Cooling and ventilation which may behave unpredictably when flipped. The final showcase. A vehicle like no other. Once refined and road ready, your upside-down self-powered car becomes more than a vehicle. It's a statement. A mobile laboratory. A bold testament to innovation. Imagine rolling into a car meet or tech expo with a machine that looks like it's defying the laws of physics, powered not by gasoline or even conventional electricity, but by self-generated energy. People won't just ask, how fast does it go? They'll ask, how is this even possible? Document your journey with video, diagrams, and detailed specs. Share it online, inspire other makers, and contribute to the future of alternative transportation. The upside-down self-powered car isn't just a quirky idea. It's a spark, a challenge to traditional design, and an homage to inventors like Maxwell Chikambutso, who dare to believe in the impossible. This project won't be easy. It won't be cheap. But it will be yours. And it might just inspire the next wave of experimental engineering, from garage tinkers to world-class designers. So grab your wrench, open your mind, and start building the impossible.